And cut. That's a wrap for today, guys. Uh, take care on your way home. I want to brighten early, 5 o'clock sharp tomorrow morning. All right, have a good night. Hey, there's our star. You got a minute? I want to talk to you about something. Oh, no, no, it's nothing serious. It's nothing serious. Don't worry about it. I just have some questions. You thirsty? Want some water? Coffee? Ah, all right, all right. Uh, I'll have some water, thanks. So, I heard that you were a fan of the franchise, and that's why you auditioned. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just gotta ask. Do you think we're doing a good job of uh, making this adaptation? Why am I asking? Well, I'm... <laughs> You know the track record of um, adaptations. Most of the time, most of the times they're kind of uh, hit or miss, right? Oh man, don't get me started on uh, that one Scooby Doo one that we don't talk about. But I was worried that this was going to be one of them. Because honestly, I had no idea what this thing was about when I first got signed on to this. But there was someone in my family who, who, uh, who did? Um, my sister, actually, um, seemed to be a big fan of the series, and when news got out that we were making this, and that I was signed onto it. Oh man, my phone exploded. <laughs> so, I want to ask, do you think the fans will like it? I mean, movie studios be damned. You, me, and them. We have way too much money anyway. And... Honestly, like, I'm, I'm not going to say no to more money. And that's how I felt when we first started. When I first got into the meeting, like the first meeting with the execs and the producers and everyone, we were just kind of like, yeah, let's just make this. Let's make it passable enough that people actually want to buy tickets. And then let's dip and work on something else. And then my sister called, and then I started thinking differently. Because... Because she was so excited, you know? And I don't talk to her much. We never really go.
got along. We never had anything like any similar hobbies, so we never had anything to talk to each other about. But now, now, now she calls me like every week, sometimes twice, just to ask how it's going, how I'm liking it, and. It's fun. It's been enjoyable. And now that we're nearing the end of at least of filming, I've gotten nervous. Because I don't want to disappoint her, you know? So, you're the... So, you're the best person I can ask without it leaking behind-the-scenes footage, you know? Do you think we did a good job? You think so? Yeah, I, I, I didn't really know anything about about this before we started so once my sister called i kind of uh, binged a lot of it just over one or two days i, I just sat down and you know turned my brain off for to everything else and just tried to watch and read and listen to everything so i hope i did a good job so um what got you into the series did a family member recommend it to you did you see it on the on the news or something or Maybe you heard about it from a friend or something, and or maybe you saw an ad for something in it that you thought, oh, that looks cool, and then you decided to check it out. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. You know... We are in a strange time for IP. Where the people with the most money, the most production value, seem to get seem to get it wrong. And the ones with little or sometimes no funding get massive amounts of fans and droves of support just so they can create more for IPs like the superhero genre oh that's a mess there's that one we do not name because it was so bad. Uh, yeah, I, I know how the fans. I I like stuff. Okay, I'm a fan of things, and it's because of that that I know that it sucks when when someone like me comes along and just says. Yes, I will make this for more money. It, and I know that it sucks when someone like me comes along and says, yeah, I'll make it, let's make some money without the heart of it, you know? So... Uh, 
I'm just glad that this has reminded me of how I felt, how angry I feel when someone takes something I love and tramples it and wears its skin like a suit just to make a quick buck. Hey. I know you're busy, you know, kind of, you're an actor, got a busy schedule and your time is more valuable than my entire paycheck, but if you ever want to like talk about this some more, just hit me up, you can talk to me, but I think you'll have a a lot more interesting of a time with my sister if you talk about this. She will talk your ear off. Uh, she did me. Any anyways, sorry for kind of like dumping this on you. I'm just happy that uh, we're doing something right for once. I'll see you tomorrow. Rest up.